Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Shin Fin Network, aka XDC. So with that being said, let's just dive in and let's start off with this tweet here from Cryptonair D. And uh, he is quoting Chris Southworth, who was at the BRICS Summit, and he was talking about the fundamental change that is happening right now. Uh, this is the Secretary General at the ICC. And uh, we do see it's important we see this as an opportunity, not a threat, to adapt to a changing world order and to engage on a positive agenda where there are common interests such as tackling climate change, modernizing our trading system, and supporting development. It's in our economic interest to work with and support the emerging economies. We have to if we want to solve the big issues. It's an opportunity to think again about reinstating the UK development budget to deepen our relationships with the Commonwealth and the UK industry to engage in national capitals and promote business opportunities. We have a lot to offer. It's about playing to our strengths and being constructive and listen closely to the clip. Well, the BRICS is an established grouping, uh, just like G7, G20 is. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing groupings of emerging economies uh, led by BRICS in many ways, um, starting to exert their voice into uh, what is an evolving world order. So we've got a real opportunity here as they set the agenda and, and we engage around that agenda to, to see it as a positive opportunity, not a threat, to start to work on uh, an agenda that works for all of us. And that's around issues like climate action and environment, uh, the modernization of the trading system, digitalization, and the development agenda. Um, uh, and for the UK specifically, uh, we've got to look at our capabilities to engage, uh, spe specifically around the development budget uh, and what we can do in that area, uh, and also use our relationships through networks like the Commonwealth uh, and for business to really think through you know, how we engage uh, in business diplomacy, uh, in national capitals in the emerging markets, so that we're putting forward positive, constructive solutions to some of the world's problems today. But overall, this is an opportunity to engage. Uh, well, the and of course, I do believe that this is the case. I think that we are about to see some significant updates in September. I've told you guys about it. In September, we actually have the electronic trade documents bill fully go live and incorporate it into the overall system of trade finance. Um, I think that that is going to be the key that really opens the door for innovation to truly thrive around trade finance, especially around digitalization and tokenization through DLT, blockchain, and network of networks, which we will be addressing in this video as well. Um, the ICC with, of course, the UK is at the center point for this. They are at the forefront of this major um, innovation. I'm very, very excited about this. Now, in this video, I do want to talk to you guys also about Contour. So, uh, Contour is one of those companies that I think a lot of people view as a threat when we look at XDC, but that is not the case. Um, this is a major company. We do see MUFG joins Contour Blockchain Trade Finance Network. And uh, if we scroll down, we can see that Japan's largest bank has joined the Contour Blockchain Network for Digital Letters of Credit, the eighth systemically important member of the Trade Finance Network, and 20th bank to join. The other ones include, of course, Bank of China, BNP Paribas, Citi, HSBC, ING, Standard Chartered, and fellow Japanese bank SMBC, which joined three years ago. MEFG in Singapore is having a digitalization push in its Singapore office to reduce their reliance on paperwork. Last year, banking network BFT estimated that 30% of the time in trade finance is spent paper pushing, costing $150 million a year. Using digital letters of credit, LCs, the processing time is reduced to less than 24 hours. You know what's very interesting about this is uh, the letters of credit, LCs here, right? Let's go back in time real quick. Let's go all the way back to 2020, where Crypto Cypher actually posted on Twitter, question for the Shin Fin community, isn't Contour a competitor to trade Phoenix? And we do see Atoll, of course, the uh, co-founder of Shin Fin Official, mentioning interoperability, not competition. The LC's letter of credits on platforms like Contour can be accessed by alternative asset investors on XDC via Trade Phoenix. Biggest holdup for us in the past was that platforms like Contour were still in beta. Now it's all coming together. And this was October of 2020, mind you. So as we really kind of look at this, right? 
it seems as though we are at the moment in time where everything is really kind of starting to move pretty quickly. And remember that Contour has become a global giant around trade finance. Um, and also MUFG has presence in over 50 countries. Um, and this could very well expand very fast. And we even do see that a key factor that should help Contour's growth is the push towards digital letters of credit with major container shipping or shippers committing to go digital with electronic bills of lading. Yeah, all of it is coming together at a very, very significant time. And uh, we do see, meanwhile, MUFG is involved in many of the major blockchain initiatives in Japan. It is the sole founder of uh, Progmat, the platform for tokenizing securities, which is evolving into a consortium. Progmat will also support stablecoins issued by numerous banks. Additionally, MUFG is involved in Japan's Metaverse and Dropability Consortium, uh, which all of this is really kind of just focused heavily on digitalization um, and the, the need here to innovate as well. And also, there's been a lot of major um, leading names joining Contour. Uh, for an example, CIB is one of them as well. This is the first African bank to officially join its growing productive network. Um, again, as we really kind of look at this, it's all centered out on the letter of credits. Um, and again, as we really kind of look at this, it's not, um, it's not competition. In fact, they welcome this. And Commerce Bank also made... Uh, a lot of headline news making their first blockchain based trade finance transactions of course with contour um this was in july of uh this year and again it's all centered out on of course letters of credit and uh, we do see by leveraging the power of advanced technology we aim to enhance efficiency reduce costs and provide greater accessibility to trade finance ultimately enabling businesses to thrive in today's rapidly evolving global marketplace and then also city india completes first blockchain enabled letter of credit transaction on contour and this was back in april the end-to-end -end digital transaction was completed for cummins india limited on contour the blockchain based platform now again you know as we really kind of look at contour i do think that a lot of people are really kind of forgetting that this is essentially a network of networks which i will talk to you guys about here in a second but you see we are a technology driven company and our key priority is to digitize our processes we are happy that contour and city worked with us to launch the first blockchain enabled lc transaction in india we believe that by digitizing our processes we are able to drive efficiency across the value chain and it's a win-win solution for stakeholders and uh, yeah it's a big game changer and uh, if we look at Contour, so here is the full website. You could actually view the network. You could see their partners. You could see their coverage. You could even see the about section on their website if you guys do want. Um, now, Zinfin, or if you will, Shinfin, because I know that a few people were hating on the fact that I, I called it Zinfin. Um, a lot of the major names tied to uh, Contour, you know, there's no Zinfin. There's no XDC. But there's a ton of other great partners that do have exposure to Shinfin and uh, XDC or even Trade Phoenix or Trade, you know, uh, Trade Tech. So as we do look at their partnerships, again, they are very substantial. It's really kind of focused on uh, what they want to build. Remember that Contour is interoperable with leading trade networks and e-documentation providers, enabling our corporate clients to gain a seamless end-to-end -end experience from trade uh, finance execution to delivery. And also, if we actually look at their network, you could see their full network in America, Asia Pacific, Europe, Middle East, Africa. Uh, they have, you know, a network that spans over 50 countries already. They are a very substantial name. And also, if you view their about section, you can see that they are a global network of banks, corporates, and trade partners working together to revolutionize the trade finance industry. Remember, it's all about collaboration here. Um, a lot of the major players that will be tied back to Contour or even, you know, tied back to Shinfin. I want you guys to realize that it's all about collaboration. Collaboration is key, especially to realize the value of uh, trade finance, digitalization and tokenization. And also remember that this is built upon R3, which again, from the other day, we talked about R3. We talked about in the video how Zin or Shinfin's XDC becomes the leading token of value on the Corda network thanks to the DSL uh, crypto bridge. And then also we did talk a little bit about this as well uh, with R3's Corda Settler with XRP with similar use case to Impo, but unfortunately the implementation did not gain traction. Impo is currently the only bridge provider to the R3 Corda blockchain. And how do you bridge everything? Of course, you have to go through Zinf or Shinfin with XDC. I know that I keep wanting to say Zinfin. 
I do apologize. Um, but if you actually look at their network, we can see that Contour is building a common network on one decentralized platform to enable the digital transformation of trade finance. Our open and inclusive network is interoperable across the industry, eliminating data trapped within silos. Again, crucial. And look at all of the major names tied back to Contour. You have City, you have HSBC, Commerce Bank, DBS, BMP, Paribus. I mean, there is so many huge names here. And a lot of these names, in fact, almost all of them could be tied back to the ITFA. And if you guys did not know about ITFA, well, guess what? Contour is actually already a member of ITFA. And we do know that Shinfin was the first um, blockchain uh, name tied back to the ITFA. And we even see that this was back in February of this year. So all of this is coming together at such a crucial time. And when we actually look at the Contour breakdown, this is from January of 2021. This is our case study. We can see the network of networks digitizing trade finance. And if you go back in time to trade Phoenix, trade Phoenix is also a network of networks. So it seems to me that all of this is going to be interoperable. It's going to be tied back together. Again, I always say instead of looking at competition, look at collaboration. Collaboration is key here. Ventura is unlocking untapped potential in traditional trade finance by harnessing the power of enterprise blockchain, boosting speed, visibility, and trust across the international trade finance ecosystem. Blockchain is a key technology we are exploring and using with our own customers and now using for ourselves with the co completion of this transfer on Corda. Simply put, we took a highly manual complex transaction and made it more secure and efficient. And uh, here you guys can read all about Contour. Again, this is a very substantial name. Um, I've been looking at Contour forever, researching Contour for a while. Again, the LCs, the letter of credits is crucial. And uh, we even see like what is an LC and why blockchain in simple terms, an LC is a guarantee from a bank that a seller will receive a payment due from a bank or from a buyer. Uh, the bank guarantees that the seller will receive a specified amount of money within a specified time in return for guaranteeing the payment. The bank will require that strict terms are met backed by documents like shipping confirmation as proof with multiple entities needing to verify that what I see is what you see blockchain provides an opportunity to bring trading partners, logistics firms and financiers into sync. And again, all of this is hyper focused on the same exact goal of uh, shin fins. And here you guys have the contour sort of viewpoint here you have, you know, Swift, you have uh, Bolero, landmark, all of this, like this is all a network of networks. And it's all becoming a big deal. And I want you guys to realize that, in my opinion, you know, when we look at what's been happening around trade finance, uh, finance in the uh, recent weeks and months, and what we will see next month as well, fully go live. Um, I'm very, very excited about the future, especially around um, DLT blockchain in trade finance and everything. Everything is moving extremely fast. Everything is happening in real time. And I want you guys to realize that now is probably the best time to be looking into the real utility players. And we even see like the next steps, you know, they're really kind of focused on the future here. You know, they are really kind of focused on becoming a leader around uh, trade finance. And uh, how, how to do that? Well, you build a network of networks and you bring on the best in class technology. And even if we go all the way back to 2020, we do know that. Even then, the Shinfin co-founder did not see Contour as a competitor. In fact, they looked at it as more of an interoperability aspect with collaboration being the key crucial thing to see. So I think that this is very bullish. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on because more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. With that being said, guys, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.